Okay, in this video we're going to be doing problem set 7, uh, uh, number 1 here. And uh, we're using this uh, SWA PS7 Excel spreadsheet here and we're looking at the data 1 tab and we're going to do a simple linear regression which uh, predicts revenue from flights. So to do that, uh, let's uh, click add-ins, uh, phstat, and go to regression, simple linear regression, and this pops up, <coughs> and for y, uh, that's the the uh, revenue column here, down to 29, and for x, the independent variable, that's flights, And we're going to check all these checkboxes here. And for the, the confidence interval estimate, we're going to type uh, this number in to try to predict what the revenue value would be for, uh, uh, for quarter one with 321,000 flights. So x equals 3210000 and we're going to do 95 percent and click OK and this pops up uh, and so uh, these are our regression statistics let's, let's look at the first problem here what is the equation that predicts revenue uh, okay so uh, these are the two coefficients here and uh, the equation is uh, y equals minus 4465.16, that's this number here, plus 0 0.0252, that's this number here. Uh, times x, where uh, y equals revenue and x equals number of flights. <clears throat> Let's see if we can assist it here. Okay, so that's the answer to. A. What is the question that predicts revenue? Okay, B. What is the R squared? What is the value of R squared and interpret its meaning? Okay, R squared is this value right here. And if we look on page 426 and go down to the bottom here, we see um, it explains uh, R squared. Uh, it's the it's called the coefficient of determination. That's another name for it, and it um, it measures the proportion of the variation in y, which in this case is revenue, that's explained by the variation in the independent variable x, uh, which in our case is is the number of flights. So this r square is uh, a percentage. It's a, a percentage of how much of the variation in revenue uh, can be explained by uh, the variation in the number of flights. Okay, uh, so that's what R squared is. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do you find the correlation coefficient for revenue and flights? Well, the coefficient correlation is simply uh, this actually, um, this, if you take the square root, square root of this, uh, you get, oh, I'm sorry, if you take the square root of, of B5, you get exactly this number, and um, uh, this number is actually the, the square root of of C12, this divided by this, and this is the sum of squares 
as a result of, of the regression itself uh, out of the total. And so that's uh, that's what the coefficient, the correlation coefficient is. Okay, uh, D. What is the standard error? The standard error is uh, this number. And if we look on page, um, let's see. 428, which is the next page here. Uh, the standard error of the estimate measures the variability of the observed y values from the predicted um, y values in the same way the standard deviation uh, measures the vari variability around a mean. So um, uh, the the standard the standard error is the standard deviation around the prediction line. Uh, just like the standard deviation, uh, the chap that, that we learned back in chapter three is the is the standard deviation around the sample mean. So that's so you can think of the standard error as the same as the standard deviation. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop the video now, and uh, uh, the next problem will be in the next video. Thanks for watching.